Hi, Poopoos. That's Poop Queen of Cups. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome to the Poopoos Trap. So, this is a new love reading for Sagittarius. Summer rising and Venus. Everybody don't want they old, you know, old they past coming back. Some people want new. So, we're going to see about new love for you guys. If you are already dealing with somebody that's new. Let's see what's going on with this person. Let's see um, how this person is. Let's just see what the messages that come out about this person. And where it's going to go between you guys. And do this person really want this connection? Or uh, if some of you guys really do have new love coming towards you. We're also going to uh, find out what is something that you need to uh, fix before this person comes towards you. Or if you uh, are already in connection with this person, let's see what do you need to fix about yourself so the connection can be better. Okay. Keep in mind, these are general messages. They may or may not resonate. They do great. If they don't, you can always book a personal reading with me to find out what your story is. Or you can check out your moon and your rising sign, boo. Okay. So, Universe, Spirits, and guys, what messages do you have for uh, Sagittarius, someone rising in Venus when it comes to new love? What is something that they need to know about their self or change about their self? Okay. So, we have, no, it's quick, y'all. We got spiritual path. Your true beliefs are becoming clearer to you, which prompts you to make necessary life changes. So, some of you guys need to get more on the spiritual journey. Some of you guys are already on the spiritual path, but you guys need to um, actually believe in your dreams um, or believe in what you are trying to manifest so um, you can actually, actually have it and actually make these life changes for yourself. You have increased support, your positive focus and willingness to receive have opened the doorway to abundance of help and opportunities. So, whatever you are manifesting or whatever you feel that you deserve or that you want to come in for love or whatever, you guys have to really believe that. You can't second guess and be like, oh, I don't know if, you know, um, this is actually going to happen. And then the next day you're like, oh, well, I really want this. You can't do this. You have to go ahead and believe uh, what you really want to come in for yourself. So tell me more, spirit. Tell me about this person, this new person for a new love for Sagittarius, Summer Rising, and Venus. What do we need to know? So some of you guys. I want to read building blocks again because I kind of forgot what the meaning of that was. 28. Uh, strong foundation, a beautiful work in progress. So some of you guys, um, this person is a work in progress right now. They're trying to actually get their self together, their inner self. They're on a spiritual level. Um, it could be financial as well. Let's just see. Let's find out some more, y'all. Let's find out some more. Y'all know we get all the answers, baby. Baby. This person is traditional, too. So, yeah, this person. Chop wood, milk and honey, new life. So, this person is trying to manifest a new life. This person. um, Let's see. 42. This person. um, This is for a reason that this person came towards you or they're coming towards you. So. Just be prepared for that. 41. If you hear children in the background, don't mind. They're just my children and they're playing. <laughs> Being grounded in everyday experiences. Humility. So, this person is trying to ground themselves. They know that they have a new beginning when it comes to um, their life. They know that they have a brand new beginning uh, when it comes to a lot of things that they have going on. And they are trying to embrace that in the correct way. This person is not trying to go backwards. So we have milk and honey. The taste of prosperity, opportunities born of authenticity, nurturing, abundance, trusting that your needs will be met. What I tell y'all about that? So this person is doing the same thing. Some of you guys, um, you're mirroring, you and this person is mirroring each other. So let's see. Any other messages? Not. So, 
<clears throat> those are all the main messages that, um, that came out right there. So let's see. So this person could possibly not even talk a lot or this person has some things that they want to get off of their chest. This person could also be having financial uh, troubles or well, this person is going through different changes when it comes through, come through, <laughs> when it comes to um, their finances, their finances could be improving or it could be uh, uh, going left for them. So patience and planning. This person is taking the necessary steps. They're kind of conflicted a little bit of an ending or of a new cycle that they're going through. Um, they're, this person is trying to manifest some things quietly so they can move um, forward. Yeah, this person is moving on from something. They're moving on from some type of deception. This person is they're trying to manifest something. They know what they have to do to move on. So this person could possibly take time to their self with rest and rejuvenate so they can get on the same page um, as you want. Yeah, this person this person feels a lot of passion towards you. Be dealing with a Leo. They're trying to um, to share their heart again. They're trying to find courage in their self to see uh, should they actually take the, ne the necessary steps to open up towards anybody this could be a virgo that you're dealing with as well Whoa. I'm like that. this person is secretly hoping for a victory for themselves right now so this person could be really um self-focused right now to improve things in their life person went through a lot yeah they're trying to get more stable it could have to do with finances as well tell me more about this person mm. so you're dealing with a scorpio or capricorn so yeah so this person or pisces this person went through a lot this person got their guard up a little bit because they had some type of tower moment so even though they had a tower moment and they they is it, still some type of fear there or some type of addiction issues or whatever this devil energy is in their life this person is trying to juggle of getting rid of that so they kind of got their guard up they're trying to look at things from a different perspective so they can move on from this ending they're kind of confused a little bit but i feel like this person is going to take action Take the necessary um, actions to move on from this. Yeah, like I said, look at things from a different perspective. Uh, become unstuck. This person is definitely going through a new cycle. Could have been involved in a third party as well. So they're going through some type of um, change, yeah. They had a lot of sadness, a lot of regret with this Five of Cups. Yep, and the Swords. This ending, this painful ending. So they're trying to make things like work. They could be focusing on their finances so they could um, heal. Yep, <laughs> it popped out. Three of Wands. This person is waiting for something.
So they're trying to get rid of something from their past with the Six of Cups that came out in reverse. So this is something from their past. They could definitely be uh, at a distance from you or they got a decision to make um, about being more uh, independent or single. Do they want to continue to stay single or not? So this person is moving kind of slow. Oh, this could be a Taurus as well. But this person is slowly moving towards a commitment. This person could possibly be married as well. Um, and they could be slowly trying to get away from this, this marriage or this commitment. But this person, from what I see, from what it looked like, this person is slowly going towards a commitment. So, okay. Anymore. So this person trying to make themselves a emperor. They find you highly attractive as well. I told you this person is trying to go through some type of different change, some different cycle with the Wheel of Fortune there. So yeah, they they is still focusing on their finances, but at the same time, this person is trying to manifest things for their self as well. Yeah, as I said, this person is, is finances for them. Yeah, because of separation that came in their life. I thought that flipped over. So, a separation came in their life, which made their finances kind of go down. It could be um a, a divorce that's coming about. But this person could possibly be a soulmate and they're telling you to give your relationship a chance. So this person could possibly be, be um, standoffish right now. Just a little bit because they feel like they have to um, still handle a situation official person this person could have like some type of okay this person dealt with some stuff the child don't know they could have a the, the stuff that they went through it could have been um a person that they have a child with this person the person that they were dealing with they could have also dealt with somebody that was a thief but some of you guys, this person, this person could have actually went to jail or dealt with some court issues because they was accused of stealing something. So they could have went away for a while. That's just for some. That's just for some. So let's see what this person will actually want to tell you. We're just going to pull a few cards from here. If y'all know that, um, what's that boy's name? Lu Lukeo. Yeah, Lukeo. Who you are. You guys might want to go check that out. Because I just channeled that song. Um. Oh, yeah. Oh. And I'm going to get one more. So we have, you are one of the most helpful people I know. It's a privilege to have you as a teacher. So some of you guys could possibly don't even know that you help this person in some type of way or you taught them something in some type of way like maybe how to handle situations um how to talk it could be a lot of stuff that you could have taught this person but they feel like they could learn from you give me one more they gave me one more didn't they mm -hmm. So, 
uh, what was this one? Thank you for everything you do. You are appreciated. So, even if you haven't bumped into this person yet, this is how this person is going to feel. I'm really grateful to have you in my life. So, this person feels very, very, very grateful for you. This is not a selfish person, I don't feel. So, what advice do you have for Sagittarius when it comes to this new person? Expect powerful change. And then we have surrender to the divine. So you have to let the universe go ahead and take over this and let this change come in. This person know that they there's some changes that's going on in their life. Some of you guys could be going through some type of changes in your life as well. So just let the universe do its work, honey. Okay. All right, my poo-poos. So that is all the messages that I have for you guys. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Um, if you would like to book a personal reading with me, everything is down in the description box below. Um, also, could you guys do me a favor and go over to my Instagram, which is down in the description box as well, the information. Go hit that follow button for me. I would definitely really appreciate you guys. I definitely love you guys oh so much. Hope this message resonated. Other than that, I love you guys. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye, poo-poos.